With so much attention given to the biceps, most lifters never adequately train their triceps. For the most part, they'll throw a few cable press downs at the end of their workout and they're done. The problem with this approach is that the triceps make up approximately two thirds of your upper arm mass. So if you wanna build truly impressive arms, you must give the triceps the attention they require. But in order to train the triceps optimally, there are a few things we must understand. First, in order to pack on more mass to your triceps and balance out your upper arms, you'll have to prioritize them. Second, you must do enough volume. For many lifters, biceps are a priority, while the triceps become an afterthought. Because the triceps are a much larger muscle group, it makes sense to train them just as much, if not more, than the biceps. Lastly, focus on form. Perform every single set and rep with textbook form and function. Take your time, slow down each movement, and concentrate on the stretch and squeeze. This brings me to my next point, understanding the anatomy and biomechanics of the triceps. The triceps are comprised of three heads, located on the posterior and lateral aspect of the upper arm. The triceps are split into a long, medial, and lateral head. The long head, which is located toward the back of your arm, is the largest of the three. The lateral head, as the name suggests, sits on the lateral aspect of the arm and is most visible from the side, and the medial head, which is mostly covered by the two other heads. When all three heads are well developed, they merge together to give that coveted horseshoe appearance. The main function of the triceps is elbow extension or straightening out of the arm. Anytime we extend the forearm at the elbow joint, all three triceps heads are active. Also, the long head of the triceps helps to extend the shoulder joint or bring the arm behind the body due to its origin on the scapula. Now that we know which muscles we're working and what functions they're responsible for, let's answer some common questions about training the triceps. Should you train your triceps with low reps or high reps? One study published in the Applied Physiology, Nutrition, and Metabolism Journal looked at how changing loads from 70 to 80% down to 30% would affect muscle hypertrophy. The findings concluded that load wasn't a close indicator of success, instead it was intensity as it relates to fatigue. What this means is that no matter how much weight you use, to an extent, the key is to take your sets to muscular failure to induce as much fatigue as you can. Muscular failure, as you know, can be reached with either heavier or lighter loads. That said, there is a case for staying in the higher rep range when training your triceps. First, with all the heavy pushing and pressing, you're already stimulating the triceps with heavy loads. Second, direct triceps training with heavy loads is not practical. Think about loading up the triceps press down machine and pushing for a heavy triple. That's an injury waiting to happen. And lastly, it allows you to get in touch with your triceps. Higher reps produce more lactic acid and therefore a more intense burn on the muscle. This makes it much easier to achieve a mind-muscle connection. One of the best ways to accomplish all of these things is to utilize dumbbells. Whether it's your preference or you're forced due to a lack of equipment, training with dumbbells is a great way to accomplish all of these things. Not only do they provide both convenience and versatility, but they don't lock you into a structured path of motion or require an expensive cable machine for those of us who train from home. With all of that out of the way, here are the only three dumbbell triceps exercises you need for mass. Number one, triceps kickbacks. One study by Barons and Buskies looked at some of the best movements for the long head of the triceps. Surprisingly, the dumbbell kickback was the single most effective exercise in terms of EMG activation. When you take a look at how they perform this exercise, it makes perfect sense. First, rather than a traditional triceps kickback, they used a 60 degree angle on an adjustable bench. Since the long head is activated when the arm is behind the torso, the conventional dumbbell kickback won't be as effective. When you're at an incline, it's far easier to squeeze your shoulder blades together and place your elbows behind the torso. Keep in mind, this movement is only effective as long as you keep your upper arms parallel to the floor. Fail to do so and you could reduce muscle activation by as much as 20%. This is why I recommend that you start with a light weight and focus on proper form as well as a good mind-muscle connection. Number two, lying triceps extensions. Research shows that the lying triceps extension is one of the most effective lateral head activators. And since the long head is activated most when performing an overhead movement, the lying triceps extension is also an effective way to stimulate the long head, making this a great overall triceps builder. For lying extensions, grasp a pair of dumbbells and lie back on a flat bench. Start with the dumbbells directly over your chest with your palms facing each other. Before you begin the motion, angle your upper arm slightly over your head. Your upper arm should be slightly angled back and should remain in this position throughout the exercise. Begin by bending at your elbows and lowering the weight down, slightly above your head. 
This will guarantee that your triceps remain under constant tension, as opposed to coming all the way up over your chest and resting between each rep. Number three, overhead triceps extension. Research published in the Journal of Sports Medicine and Physical Fitness compared EMG activity of the long head of the triceps with a lying dumbbell triceps extension versus an overhead triceps extension. The only noticeable differences were that the overhead dumbbell extension was more effective at the bottom of the range when the triceps stretched, while the lying dumbbell triceps extensions were more effective at the top of the range. The researchers concluded that these exercises are similar options and either could work well. What they didn't discuss, however, was loadability. In other words, it's going to be much easier and safer to utilize heavier loads, say in the 5-8 to eight rep range, with the overhead triceps extension. With that said, if you're not performing heavy pushing and pressing movements or just want to train your triceps directly with a heavier load, we recommend making the overhead triceps extension the focal point of your triceps training when you're tied to using only dumbbells. So there you have it, the only three dumbbell triceps exercises you need for mass. Whether you train from home and only have access to dumbbells or simply want to change things up a bit, include these principles and exercises into your triceps training and watch your arms grow. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. If your training and nutrition are in order and you're looking for a bit of an edge, be sure to check out my science-based supplement line. Each product was created using scientifically proven ingredients, all clinically dosed and guaranteed to produce results. And right now you can get 25% off your entire order plus free shipping by using the coupon code MONSTER at checkout. So head over to musclemonsters.com supplements or click the link in the description. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.